We now reach section 5 of the course where we cover the actual modeling. And in this section we're going to describe a five-step modeling process to go from the initial data to the final model. And for each step we're going to provide in-depth tutorial and description of how to run the code and to get to the desired results. And we strongly encourage you to open R and run the code that we provide in parallel with the course as we go through it for you to get the most learning out of the course. So here are the basic five steps that we're going to cover. The first step is to prepare the data, how to read the data into R and do some initial processing. The second step is where we cover how to do a first rough selection of the variables that's going to be potential candidates to be included in the model. And here we narrow it down from maybe let's say 400 initial variables to 50 potential variables. And we also do some transformation of variables to see what, what will work in terms of providing more informative data to predict the output. The third step is a more deep dive analysis. We look at each of the identified variables and look at the bivariate relationship between the variables that we selected in step two and the dependent variable that we're trying to predict. Now here we describe this as a linear process going from step one to step two to step three. In reality, depending on the finding in step three, you might iterate a couple of times between step two and step three to when it comes to the transformations of the variables to get the best possible results. But, but in this course, we're going to cover it more as a linear process. The fourth step is where we actually develop the model, where we start off with the finding we have from step two and step three on what variables that we could potentially include in a model and do some stepwise regression to further narrow it down to a final model. And in step five, we're going to show how to use a separate data set to validate the model and make sure that the model we developed is robust and that we haven't overfitted data but it's actually predictive on a new set of data. So, so that's the basic outline of the course that we're going to cover and for each step we will provide the code and, and I hope you will enjoy it and run the code alongside with the presentation as we go through it.